play? Uh, I'm not familiar, but I have You're strong, roughing, strong desires to go there. In the no, oh, do you have family over there? Uh, no, I do not. I just love, I just love their lifestyle. Okay. If, if that's what you and I have a conversation, because I, I don't have a topic. Because I'm from Cali. Okay, yeah. Yeah. It's more so. It's I. LA's rough, man. I've no. I've heard. I've heard mixed of things. I love more so the glorified side of LA. The glorified side. Just because I'm a dreamer. I'm a musician. Oh, I get it. I get okay, it. Yeah. Hey, there's other scenes you can go to. Like, what's your music style? Um, right now I'd say. I mean, I rap and sing both. But ATL is like your place to be, then. And it's a much better traffic scene. <laughs> okay, yeah. yeah, I agree with that. But like, if you want to connect with other people who are in that same level, because yeah. LA's pop. Yeah. Pop and selling out. Yeah. And Coca Cola. Yeah. Maybe Pepsi. I don't know. Jamba <laughs> Juice. Whatever they sell it today. Yeah. But yeah, I'm like, LA is a cool place. Yeah. Visit there before you decide to live there. Yeah. Like. Right. Of course. Definitely. Definitely. From a recommendation. Yeah. Would you mind if we had a quick chat about? Of course. Whatever. So, the cool thing that's going on right now is we got a street preacher here on campus. Yeah. I normally do these chats with anyone. I go to parks, I'll go to campuses, yeah. and I'll just talk about whatever they believe or about whatever they want. Would you mind if it's about like a supernatural topic? Like, is there yeah. anything that you believe in? Um, in like, the I am personally topic? Christian. Yeah, we can have a conversation about Christianity. Please, I would love that. Yes, sir. Hold on. I'm talking with Mr. L.A. What is your name? My name is Cameron. Cameron? Yes, just to the cameras. Yes, My name is Ty. Nice to meet Ty. you. And yes, if you want, you can take a card. We're doing this completely out of order. All right. All right. So, Cameron, how do you spell that? It's um, C A M E R O N. R O N. Got it right. Just verified. Oh. Cameron, Christianity, that's a really big topic. Yeah, it's a very huge topic. Very mm-hmm. controversial as well. Is it? Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Isn't like this the most Christian nation in the planet? Surface of the universe? <laughs> even, though, even though it might be, let's put it this way. Okay, in, talk to me. In my in my personal belief, um, you know, and, I, and honestly, with a lot of the other, as, as I've sat in this crowd for about an hour or so, I've spoken with some of the other students, just other people in general, that were Christians. For the most part, we've all shared much of the similar belief that this radical type of Christianity is what negatively impacts Christians it's, it's, everywhere. It's a bad representation. Exactly. And I... I relate it also to more things like, for example, the race, the racial issues. There is a very huge, there's a very huge stereotype on African Americans, whether they be men, male or female. There's a big stereotype on that because of a select few. That's not everyone. Like, for example, even though I, even though I am half white, half black, even if I was to be perceived as African American, if I was perceived as any other race other than what they believe is right, due to that stereotype, I am immediately judged before they even ask me my name or even see my personality. Sure. Yeah. Which, in the same sense, is how just you like, perceive yourself is not the way how people perceive you. Exactly. And, and that disconnect there is really disheartening, yeah. especially when there's that people out there yes. maybe even mudding the waters. Exactly. So yes. So that's why I have this table because yeah. I'm really into the one-on-one interaction yeah, with people. Definitely. I'm not going to sell you anything. Like okay. I'm not. I don't have. Well, I mean, I have my YouTube channel. <laughs> no, I, yeah, yeah. But aside from that, I'm not going to try to like persuade you that you're wrong. Yeah. I'm not here to argue with you. This is not a debate. No, I understand completely. I'm really just trying to get that one-on-one. Connection because I believe any two people can talk to any two people can have a conversation with each other. No, I agree completely because I've seen things like this on YouTube before. Yeah, this is one of the things that actually excited me to come to college and live like experience this campus lifestyle because I see things like this. And I mean, there's all kinds of I love talking, I love meeting people, I love having conversation, and this is awesome. So, Cameron, you believe in God? Is it a specific kind of Christianity that you Um, follow? I just believe. Are you Baptist, Protestant, Methodist, Evangelical, Lutheran, um, Mormon? Are you Jehovah Witness? Do you have no. Catholic? I, I would say that I, uh, I belong to a non-denominational church. Non-denominational. So basically, I no. the best denominational. All right. So yeah. Um, non-denominational. What is something about? What is the nature of this God that we're talking about? Um. Now that also varies between. I'm specifically asking you. Me, okay. My personal belief of the nature of. God. That's the benefit of that one-on-one. Right? Okay, yeah. Now I understand. We don't have to talk about anybody else. Um, the nature of my God is a very forgiving person, someone who is someone who is judgmental, but his forgiveness overshadows his judgment 
Completely. Okay. Is, is there a Jesus Christ figure in this? I do Let's believe. Let's start begging. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I Bible believe. is a good way to get there. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm mixed. I have mixed. I have mixed. This opinions. is interesting. I'm yeah. glad I asked these questions. I have then. mixed opinions about the Bible because there are some things, and I've, and I've even spoken with like very popular Christians that have a very big following, or even have been preached at. Mm. With uh, certain by certain Christians that have basically said, you know, we don't all share the same beliefs that the Bible is the 100% blueprint of how you live. Can I throw something out? Yeah, of course. There are some people who say that there's no God. I don't. Do you agree with those people? Not at all. I believe okay, that you believe that there is a God. I believe that there is a God. I believe cool. that there is a Bible. Now, the current version of the Bible that we have, my I am a strong believer in. This is a, it's honestly a theory, but I mean, I don't I haven't looked too much into it, and I don't plan on it. It's just I personally believe that if this was created way back, way back then, whenever they say that Jesus walked the earth and all in His words were written down, and that's what the Bible is. To say that from then, throughout the history of it being passed from man and people's corrupt views and people's own personal... Because the thing is, is that's why there's all these different translations. Mind if I just, yeah, go ahead. just walk good. this back? Hey, you're good, man. Yeah. So you believe that there is a God, you're Christian, okay. but not a denomination. Yep. How confident are you that this God actually exists? I would say I... I at first, when I first... When I was younger... It was a 50-50. Now I'd say I'm probably 100% sure. Can I just define 100% just so we yes, make sure yes, we're saying, mean the same thing when we throw yes. out a number? Because I really don't like numbers to be put around with you, and that's why it's good to flush it out. By 100%, I mean like you you believe there's no way you could be wrong. Okay, I, I get exactly where you're coming from. You're saying by 100%, I'm saying that it is You certain. are complete. Yes. You are closed-minded. Yeah. You have all the evidence you need. No future evidence will change your mind. Yes, yeah. certain. I am certain that it is impossible that God does not exist. You are at the apex of your faith. Five yes. years from now, if you change in any way, waver in any way, this is you at your most confident yes. at this moment. There's no way you could be wrong. You are closed-minded on the position. I would say that completely. Okay, 100%. You must have a really good method to get to that level of certainty. I would love to hear it. Of course, yes, of course. Um, what got you to that 100%? I would say, um, and honestly, th this is this is all, my faith in, in my belief in God now has only grown stronger through what we've actually been learning in philosophy because this type of thinking and to say that certainty is almost impossible because to be certain, it has to mean that it's impossible that something can't happen. Now, whenever I pose that question of if God is real, I base, I and I've based, I've now matched this with other philosophers, not necessarily them speaking on the topic of whether or not God is real, but them, there's, in philosophy there's a big niche of if the external world exists, and there's a philosopher that is 100% certain that because he has his experience, his knowledge, and his own beliefs, along with the stories of others, they they can prove that what they say, for example, that this hourglass right here... But how does it relate to your God belief? It, it relates to it in the sense of, I use my own personal opinion, I use my own experiences... Personal opinion? Yep. I use my own experiences, and I use from what others, the stories of others, and everything like that, for me to prove, for me to form my own belief that 100% no one can prove to me. No one can prove to me that God isn't real unless... The only proof that I'll ever have... Just as a heads up, I'm not trying to prove that God's No, no, I, of course, I understand yeah. completely. Yeah. I'm not... I, I know how these things work. I respect completely yeah. that you're not here to bash anyone. You just want to have a conversation. I'm I just trying to have a conversation. Yeah. Respect and if anything, give you a chance to just express what you believe, because a lot of people don't even get a chance to do that in I, a yeah. nice place to do that. Yeah, I understand that completely. Can I throw out a question? Yeah, go ahead, man. There are some things that... Just making sure. So you came to your 100% confidence based on the personal opinions that you developed, yeah. personal experience, and the stories from other people. Yeah. Is it possible to have a personal opinion that's not true? Of course. Could I have a personal experience that informs me to a, to a wrong conclusion? Of course, yes. Can people lie to me? People can't lie, yeah. If I could have opinions that could lead me to true things and false things, or personal experiences that inform me on true things or yeah, false things, or people can tell me true things or false things, yeah. how does personal opinions, experiences, and incidental stories lead to a 
a hundred percent justified, hundred percent true conclusion. Um, it seems like each of their methods is not reliable to a hundred percent. I agree, and um, again, that to me relates back to the philosophy thing: is to be certain of something means that it's impossible. That it that it's, it's, it's to be certain is to be impossible that something is uncertain or something like that. It's what I believe is, and for me, in those opinions that I have, that I've said have allowed me to reach 100% certainty that God, for me, exists. For me, I believe that God exists because there are certain experiences in my own... Could you get more experiences that would make you more certain tomorrow? I could, yes. If you can be more certain, how are you 100% right now? I'd be 101%. So you wouldn't be at the maximum percent. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, I, okay, I... If, okay, then I guess we could dial the certainty percentage back from 100 you, if you want You to speak. really believe that this is true. I wouldn't... For I understand. Personally. But you are not absolute. I guess I wouldn't be absolutely sure, but I I do Where would you really reference? Where would you really calibrate this at? If I was to be honest with you, I guess I would say... I guess I could, if I'm being fair, because I do have years to live, and obviously, as you hopefully, said, yeah. hopefully, hopefully, yeah. <laughs> hopefully, yeah, hopefully, yeah, and as you said, you know, I could have more experiences that can make me more certain, I'd say, to be fair, at the current point, and at the current age of my life, I'd say 75. 75? 75, which I know is a 25% drop from 100. It's good to calibrate your confidence. Yeah. Okay, so, even at 75%. By the way, I didn't know about. No, you're fine. Okay. Uh, Seventy-five percent is still pretty. Oh, it's raining a little bit yeah, right it now. Yeah, is. Man, man, you want to help me out real quick? Yeah, of course. Are we gonna move back? Yeah, there? we're just gonna move back. There. Okay. So, where were we? Um, we were along the lines of uh, you're seventy-five percent. Seventy-five. We're moving from one hundred to seventy-five. Yeah. You know, I think, I think just the recognition that. You still have room to grow, yeah. or could even like learn some brand new things. Is an open mindedness that I appreciate a lot. And a lot of people aren't willing to back away from 100. percent They think there's merit yeah. to being absolutely certain about stuff. But I think even that like lockdown, I have to really encourage. That's a really good thing to do. Because um, um, what I liked, what I liked a lot was uh, when I was listening to the last guy speak. Yes. Um, he said something that I I'm strong. I'm very outspoken about. Um, I personally respect everyone's beliefs as their own. You know, I will not, I will not belittle, even if someone was the most racist bigot there was. Sure. That is still their belief. Now, whether I am offended or whether I disagree with it completely, I can't change that. That's their belief, and I still have to respect that, as I would wish that they would respect my personal views. Sure. And I think everyone has a right to believe whatever they want. Exactly. Though some beliefs are more better for society that exactly. works along with each other. And so all we can do is just encourage honest dialogue with each other because I feel like the people willing to talk to each other, the better ideas will flow to the top. Yeah, of course. You have a 75% confidence that you're, that something is true yes. based on methods that could be at best 50% yes or no. 50, 50, Opinions, yeah. experience, which could be 50 50. Yeah. Other people's stories, we live in a world where people can lie. What's really getting you to that 75%? Um, what's really getting me to that 75%? And I would say, at the moment, which really started my whole journey on the on the me being sh sure in my faith of God. Um, I was at a church. I was at a conference. And is this another personal experience? This is a personal experience, but without without me being under the influence of anything, like there was no. I wasn't talking to anyone. I wasn't. I wasn't around people who were saying anything. Is it possible for people to have very genuine? personal experiences that lead them to something that's not true. I guess, but then again, that's someone's own, but that's someone's belief. I understand. And uh, your beliefs are, in my opinion, founded. Well, my beliefs are founded based off of my emotions and true. what I feel. And if but are beliefs absolutely true just because you have them? No, not at all. So that's what I'm trying to figure out. What's a reliable way to get to your God conclusion? 
if you wanted to talk about what's the something that's always 75% at least reliable that's leading to your doctor to me personally I can't I can't give you I can't give you if we're going off of bait, if my answers that I've given aren't valid enough to say that to 75% 75% I can't personally say now if you want to speak if I can give proof now I don't know enough about this to use it as proof for me to say and quote directly but um, a philosopher by the name of Descartes he, I know Descartes okay yeah Descartes very he, good mathematician French dude yeah. dead dude unfortunately yeah, yeah. He, rest in peace yeah <laughs> <laughs> he, threw away, he threw away all of his beliefs. And Did he? he? He threw away all of his beliefs at first because he was sure that he was he couldn't be certain of anything until he found that he was certain of himself. And then from there, he built back up his beliefs of... When you say certain of himself, what do you mean by that? That he himself is a physical being that exists right now. I, is your opinion that... Rene Descartes' ultimate conclusion was that he was a physical being. Not, not, not so much that he has a body, or not so much that he has skin and that the external world. It's just that he himself exists. That was what he was trying to get at. And what was the nature of he himself? He himself. It was that he exists. It's only that he exists. It's only that he exists, and then from he had, there, did he have any qualities of himself? He only knew that existence he is necessary knew, yeah. if he has an identity. Yeah, he, I mean, he only knew that he himself. He, his, he was because he was struggling with the certainty of anything, and then he threw away all beliefs of everything until he was certain of his own existence. Yeah. And then from there, he built up. He built up certainty of his own beliefs, the belief in God through his own methods and his logic. Now, like I said, I don't know that, I don't know exactly what he said and the reasons he gave for God to be 100% real and him to be certain of that, so that's why I'm not And we are talking about other people's beliefs, so what's getting you to that certain point? And for me to say that, I've, I've tried to say it. My own personal experiences, but then again, like you said, they may not be 75 percent. They, they might not be 75 percent, but for me, that's all I need. Whether, whether or not, oh. yeah, whether or not anything, because, because honestly, it's it's in a sense, it's like a relationship. I hate messing with bugs if they're outside because I'm technically in their home. Yeah. So I'm just gonna leave them alone. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. so, Can I throw something at you? Yeah. Okay. Good. Do you care if your beliefs are true? Not at all. You don't care if your beliefs are true. Um, not really. I mean, if it, I mean, if if I'm if I'm because what and the reason why I think this now. Hmm. The reason why I think this now is just because does it because on the subject of if God is real. Does, Let's just walk it back. Does it matter if you are believing in things that are true to you? Does that is that something that motivates you to believe in true things? Are you motivated to believe in true things? I would like to believe. Would you like your beliefs to be true? Yes. Would you like to believe in true? Yes. I would. In the in the event, I'm not saying it's the case because I'm not here to tell you you're wrong. You could actually be right. But in the event that you were wrong, would you like to at least be aware? That you were. Of course, I, if if God wasn't real, I would like to. I would like to be aware that God wasn't real. At your current level of certainty, where you're not before, you had asked you if you're close-minded, and I think you said like three times around. If you're in that state, how do you do that? How do you how do you prove that God? Is no, real? how do you become aware that you could be wrong if you're close-minded to things that might let you know? That all boils back down to you have whether or not you want to be so straightforward with no one it's, it's, it's all like the sense of rap, like being a radical like your beliefs are true no one else's beliefs are true like you can't you can't be that way now I have to respect that because that's how they feel and as I like I said I feel like we're talking about 40 different people how do you reconcile being both closed minded and willing to know that you're wrong if you can't do it if you're closed minded if I will say that I am close minded about God being real because I truthfully do believe that he is. I don't doubt that. Yeah. But I'm wondering if you care about knowing if you're wrong, yeah. how would you go about correcting that if you're close minded? If you care about knowing if you're wrong. Um me I I love knowledge. And 
the no I I don't base my knowledge. I mean, some things sure, the facts of science, things like that, is how I form some of my knowledge. But then again, that could be wrong because that's just another person's. That could be a personal error on them. But we don't. We trust. It. So that like how we believe in trust. I I I if until I have knowledge of the real or if you try have knowledge of God being real or not real, I will stick to what I personally believe. But if in any case somebody can provide me talk about whatever you want. I'm just I'm looking, I don't know what it was. You were in the rain in our No. Yeah. If at any point someone can come to me and prove to me, but I don't know how but Can I throw something at you? Of course, good. And you probably saw with that other guy. But if, you know, if you have a coin and you flip it, yeah. it's on the back of your hand. Yeah. And I don't know if it touches the tails, because we know if it touches the tails, blah, blah, blah. We, we both don't know if it touches the tails. We can go to science, they tell it 50 50. Yeah. I could just believe it yeah. and respect anyone else's beliefs to say that I'm wrong yeah. and just keep myself closed minded on the idea of those heads and still be right. Yeah. But is that a reliable way to come to a true conclusion? No. Wouldn't you want to have a reliable way to come to a true conclusion? But in, I would love to, but if I'm being real with you, there's no reliable way to say that God is real. Then in the event that we don't have a reliable way, yeah. just like we don't have a reliable way to know what this coin said you out, yeah. the best answer may just be... I don't know yet. Yeah. That might be an intellectually honest way to yeah, address it. What do you think about that? <laughs> I, like, whenever you said it to the other guy, I, I respect that. Because, I mean, I, I will say that, yes, I'm 75% certain or even if... I can be 75% certain it's heads, yeah. but is that really the odds? No, it's not. And, and it is... It is. If I don't have a reliable way to come to a true conclusion, yeah. why wouldn't I say I don't know? To some that doesn't matter. I guess for me personally, I'm I'm not going when it comes to supernatural we'll say for example God. I'm not going to straight up I I will be because I guess it would be considered a lie because I'm not certain of me saying that I know for a fact that God is real. But until I'm proven otherwise, I will forever. That's an interesting it. idea. Is someone better off assuming a position until counter evidence to be provided? Or are they better off saying, I'm going to wait until we have better information before I choose either side? Honestly, I really feel like that depends on the context of whatever that belief is. This God. Yeah. On this God, God belief. Are you better off saying, because you could believe in a God that may not actually be here. Like, there's people out there who believe in a God of that same sort of fastidious yeah. confidence. But they may not be making the right decision. Yeah. Could it be better... And I'm not saying yeah. that you're wrong if you no, don't of disagree with me. But wouldn't it be at least reliable to say, hey, I'll wait until I have better evidence to believe in God. And until then, my, my position isn't that God doesn't exist. My position is, I don't know if that God exists yet. Yeah. Or at I, least not to a 75% level. I, I would say yes and no. Okay. And the reason why is because if... If you if you choose to believe in a God that doesn't exist, even if he whether he does or does not exist, if you choose to believe that you depending on your your level of Christianity or your own personal beliefs, you'll lead your life a certain way. I respect that and therefore certain experiences won't happen because you led your life that way. Now, if you if you said I don't know. Wow, that's a wet umbrella. That guy like drenched out a notion out of his umbrella. Uh, yeah. He was like freaking in the so water. I'm sorry. No, that's so fine. that's rude to me. I no, you're fine. You're fine. But no, as far as like, if to say that I don't know until you have evidence, you'll lead your life. You'll lead your life a different way. Now, what would be different? What would be different? Um, for example, what would your life be different if you didn't have this problem? That's a hard one. Um, I guess my own personal. So you wake up tomorrow and you're gonna have this guy. What would be different? What would change? Um, um, morals. Because there's still there's still certain actions. There's still certain actions that are frowned upon in Christianity. Give me an example. Because because I'm not I'm not the staple Christian. I'm not the perfect Christian. I'll say that. Um, for your case. That's, that's what. Tell me a moral that would be different if you woke up without your religious beliefs tomorrow. 
So what would you say to those people about Would you go around murdering people? No, I wouldn't go around murdering people. That sounds great. Yeah. yeah. I wouldn't go around murdering people. Would you steal people. money? Like, would you start kicking old nannies into the street? No, no, no. What would be the, like, it seems like you'd still have scruples. Yeah, you'd still have... You know, like, seems like you'd still be aware of your consequences of that. Yeah, of course. I would, say, I would say, like, my my morals as my own person, like, of my personality... What would be different? Won't be different because they don't be, they're not based on my religious beliefs. Interesting. Your morals aren't relate, based on your religious beliefs? Some of them are, but not... Which not ones are to the point that would change? That's And that's what I'm trying to figure out because... Take your time. I'm not going to rush you. No, you're fine. Uh, because I'll throw out one that is basically the most stereotypical thing a lot of people talk about when it comes to Christianity. Sex before marriage. If, in a sense... The first time, I did feel guilty about it. I did because because it does it's frowned upon to have sex before marriage. But even though, it, but there's also the belief of God is forgiving. He forgives all sins, and if you learn and repent for your sins, then you'll be able to be saved and you'll be able to have afterlife in heaven. The if someone like, had sex before marriage, could they still be a Christian? Of course. So how does it? Could someone have sex before marriage and God still exist? Yes. So how does the moral, having the moral reflect at all on whether or not the God exists? It, uh, your morals don't have any. Your morals don't if the morals any. don't change whatsoever, what changes if your God believes in something? The way, the, I, I, would say in a, I would say yes in a sense of the way I lead my life. Because I will say that due to Christianity and the things I've been taught, and it does say preach God's word, has, has made me more of an outgoing person. There have been conversations. Would you not be an outgoing person anymore? Probably not. Because cause there, have been so many, there have been so many people that I've met, whether it be me talking to a, a fellow Christian or me talking to anyone of any other belief. Does being an outgoing person make your God belief true? No. I'm still at a loss of figuring out what meaningful distinction would be different to demonstrate that your God doesn't exist if you didn't have this God. No, I, I, I get where you're coming from, and I'm just saying that for me, for me, what would be different to the point where you would have confirmation that oh my God doesn't exist based on your life? No, nothing, because if because if He never existed to begin with, then I would have never been out there. So I'm saying just your belief. Um, God might still exist. It's just your belief. That's That's hard because it depends. Because that would you want me to rephrase the question? No, no, I I get I get what you're saying. That depends because it depends on your level and your dedication to Christianity. Yeah, if you didn't have that dedication yeah. and you woke up tomorrow, yeah. what would be different? If for me personally, for a different for just for you, I'm only not talking to okay, you. Okay, for me personally, um. That would be hard for me personally because the level of Christianity that I'm at is <laughs> now the level of Christianity. You're at maximal level. I'm You're not at, at level maximal, 99. I'm not, I'm not Super Saiyan. I'm not Super Saiyan 2. Oh, Super Saiyan 2 is the worst addition to Dragon Ball Z. We can talk about this later. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not Super Saiyan Christian or anything like that. It's just for me, in my personal views of how I view certain things that Christianity has and other things that Christianity has, I don't follow. Could someone have those same beliefs but not be a Christian? Like some believe, hey, I'm not gonna have sex until marriage, just because I don't want to have that. You could have that. You could have. You could have those beliefs. I'd like to hop in whenever. Sure, you're, you're fine, uh, Cameron. I'm wondering then. Can I give you a quick summary? Is that cool? Yeah. Sounded like you were very confident about to 100 percent yeah. certainty that yeah. God was real, but we were able to calibrate that and lock it down to like 75%, yeah. mostly because we didn't realize that there's still room for you to grow, yeah, but also the foundation that you're resting it on, the experience, the opinions, and the stories of other people may not necessarily be reliable. Yeah. You referenced some philosophers, but it seemed like the the retelling of ex the explicit nature of what they were trying to describe could probably be improved a little bit. Yeah. And oh, of course. I feel like... I asked you what would be different if you woke up tomorrow without these beliefs, but we weren't able to confirm that anything would really be any different. I think it's some good stuff to think about. And I wonder if... I wonder if when the event that you don't have conclusive information, if the methods that you provided are enough to justify even a 75% confidence. Yeah. I, I agree with that completely. Um, but the one thing that I've based my entire belief system... Oh. One thing, okay. Okay. 
No, the I'm not. It's. I mean, like I said, I've what's the one it. thing? The one thing is, is like I said, I don't really care if it's true or not true. Mm. It's just what I personally believe, and I mean. So it could be wrong. It, it could be wrong, and that's perfectly fine. So as far as just the confidence of whether or not you feel you're justified, if you know it could be wrong and you don't care, is being seventy five percent confident about anything justifiable? Yeah, not at all. Okay, because. Cool. I mean, I could be 75% sure that that exists, but it might not. It might not. Yeah. But we'll, but we'll never know. Well, I don't want to say we'll never know, but I mean... But we could come up with reliable ways to at least support it. And then lacking that, I don't know, is probably the best answer. Exactly. I agree with that completely. Cool. Thank you. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate the talk. You have a wonderful day. You too. Feel free to take a car and check out some uh, I believe I either put it in my back. Yeah, because I was, I definitely. You need to take another one. I got a box of it. Let's see. Yeah, I'm just going to grab it. <laughs> but no. Did you enjoy the chat? How did you feel about it? Of course. It? I loved okay. it so much. And like I said, I, this is why whenever I seen it, I immediately wanted to do it because I love having these kind of discussions because cool. it allows me to think and I hope you learned something. I learned a lot too. I like the way you um, phrase things. I think it's really poetic. I'm, I'm, I'm learning. Yeah.